Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So a lot of you have been asking for me to show you guys things that I have bought for my Dental L mobile hygiene business. Um, I did see patients yesterday and I'm seeing more again tomorrow. So I, I, I have the heavier stuff downstairs. So I'll probably do a video tomorrow on my cell phone where I'm just kind of walking you through the more heavier pieces of equipment because I don't want to lug it all up here. It's heavy stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys just a couple tiny things that I highly recommend. Um, I just did a video earlier on the new Pro Freedom handpiece. Love this. It is a cordless handpiece. I did also get the Rheostat attachment though because it just helps me to control the power of it. But that's on back order, so I don't have that yet. Um, my curing light, how cute, or not, not how cute, but how cool is this? It's orange, so I didn't just get your typical curing light, like silver, black, boring. I got one that's orange. This is what I use for the, um, when I'm doing teeth whitening, the gingival barrier that you put on, that just helps to set that. And I have used it for sealants, and that's it so far, but it, it obviously comes in handy, nice and tiny, just like this. It's nice and tiny, right? So when you're traveling a lot, it does help to have things that are cordless, tiny, and not heavy. Another thing that I bought was Bucky the Beaver. How cool is this, you guys? Kids love him. I actually bring him everywhere so that I can take pictures of him in people's homes, you know, so I will set up, put him in the chair, take a picture and, and then just, you know, say, where's Bucky the beaver? People love that. Um, and I do post about him a lot on, on my um, Facebook page so that kids can see that he is an actual Bucky the beaver. He has teeth. So I like to kind of talk about him a lot. Kids love him. Um, I got this from Maxil and he's just so cute. Like I have put like hats on him. Um, I've put like shirts on him, stuff like that. So that he looks very, very real for kids. So kids love that. Um, another thing that I was looking into was different size pouches because who knew pouches come in different sizes, right? So make sure to order the ones for the cassettes that you have, your any loose instruments, you know, hand pieces, you'll probably want something tinier. Um, those smaller pouches are awesome for piezo tips, um, things like that. Do not forget your class five indicators here. Oh, sorry, I guess I can take that out. Um, class five indicators, I decided to get the ones that you can peel away to keep them in my log book. There's a yellow and a black stripe there. So if it's sterilized, the yellow turns black. Um, I should have brought up some more small stuff. Sorry, but I didn't think about it. Oh, I'll show you guys my laptop. Oh, no, that's downstairs too. Um, I did get a new laptop because for my intraoral camera, um, I needed like a laptop that I can plug in the camera with. My iPad, you can't plug anything in, unfortunately, so I needed to get a laptop for that. But the intraoral camera is also the best investment ever because it just helps to show patients you know, cavity or suspected cavity stain. I have been using that intraoral camera on everybody so far and I show them the pictures afterwards and they just love saying, oh wow, yeah, there was a lot of stain there. You know, when you talk to them about stain, say the last tooth, they go, yeah, yeah, okay. But then when you actually show them, they're like, oh wow, you weren't kidding, you know? And it's nice to also show them the before and the after. Um, so that's all, that's like, like another amazing um, purchase. The intraoral camera, the laptop that I bought for that, you know, and I keep, um, I do keep paper charts and on the com um, computer too. So I'm looking into this soft software right now called Simple Practice. Um, because I haven't loved any of the other softwares that I've used at dental offices. They're way too complicated. Half of the things you don't even use, and they're freaking expensive. Sorry, guys, but they're insane. Like $5,000 for a practice management so, um, software, plus you need to do the updates every year for like $1,000. It makes no sense to me. I'm small still. I don't have like thousands of patients, maybe one day, but not yet. I don't need the biggest 
practice management software out there. So I'm looking into simple practice. Um, I can actually show you guys around that the next time. Um, so I keep my charts, my invoices there so far. Um, I'm still going through the free trial. So who knows? I might not keep it, but that's the best one that I've seen so far. Um, actually, I wonder if I can show you guys now. So I've been using simple practice and no, I'm not being paid to advertise any of this stuff. Just so you know, it's just things that I am honestly using for my practice that I love. Yeah. You, you know what? I can show you guys this. I'm not going to log in because I have patients like in there. Um, so I don't want to show you guys their names, but let me just kind of show you guys. So simplepractice.com, um, just so you guys can see, I wonder if we can show you like how it looks. So it's nice. So I do have paper still for the medical and dental history and the consent forms, but all of my notes, my um, appointments, my confirmations, my invoices, I'm keeping them all in this simple practice system because it, it's pretty easy. Um, and I like how it looks nice. Oh, I'm collecting payments using um, either email money transfer or credit card. I do have a square portal that I have started to use because it was actually Tom's, um, but he doesn't use it that much. So I've kind of taken that over. Um, but a lot of people do pay by email money transfer. So I could collect payments within this simple practice too, but I'm just not yet because I'm not really familiar with that. But it's nice because with this simple practice, you can make your own templates, which I'm still looking through like everything. But as you can see, you guys, there's tons here. It looks nice too. Like I can't stand, it's probably the OCD in me, but I don't like how a lot of the practice management softwares look. Like I just think that they look tacky. More than half the stuff you don't actually use. Um, here, I've been putting in my clinical notes, of course, as well. Um, apparently, I can send things through to insurance when I sign up for that. But right now, I just simply give them a claim form and then they, um, a claim form with the codes, and then the patients um, have no problem using that. They just simply submit it to their insurance company. That's it. Oh, I can have it on my cell phone. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So I'm definitely going to look into that. But that's what I'm using, you guys, so far. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me just stop sharing my screen here. So I've just been using all kinds of things. I will do a video tomorrow with kind of showing you guys um, around, I guess, all my fun equipment. I do see patients tomorrow, so I might do it at the end of the day. But yeah, you guys, I'm just loving it so far. Um, feel free to ask me any questions. I am so happy to help. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'll see you in the next video.